The Bible is the mark of the beast. Now I want to help you with your heart today if you think you can feel things. Now, there's a thing about life that you need to know about a merry heart. A merry heart does good like a medicine. Now think about this. When I first got converted, I was so full of the Holy Ghost, I sang and shouted all the time. All the time. I took some of me out when I run into two billion Bible worshipers, but I was so happy. I'd be driving down the road and I'd have to stop the car and get out and sing God a song on my guitar. How great thou art. I felt so wonderful all the time. All the time. I was happy, happy, happy. And I used to, I pulled out of a line. I had me a, a truck, you know, and I... I went to all the parts houses and I took parts of them. And so I was pulling out of Atlanta and I'd go by this one big old auto parts house and this old man would be sitting in there. And he'd always say good morning to me and, and smile at me. And uh, I was wondering, ever, ever, I believe I went by there on a Monday or something, every day, I'd, every week I'd see him and he'd be sitting in there. And I went by there a year or two and finally I was leaving my route or he was leaving or something. Anyway, he got up and told me something that I won't forget. He said, you know why I'm down here every Monday morning? I said, no, i always seen you. I thought your family might have run this place or you got friends now. He said, no. I said, I come down here to see you. <laughs> to see me. He said, I've never seen a happier person than you. He said, you make me happy. He shook hands with me. I'm, I remember him shaking hands with me and said, you're a happy person. And said, you're genuinely happy. And said, I feel it in you. And I come down here just to see you. He, he would come and see me. And it's just joy unspeakable. I mean, when you got God in you. Now, let me tell you something. I went in the home one time, and it was dark like in there. This woman had had a heart attack or something. Demons like was in there. You can feel it. I'm telling you to go by your heart. You can feel this. And I said, oh, you know, I had some prayer meetings in there and run that devil out of there, you know. And pretty soon she got happy. She was smiling. And years later, two or three years later, I remember the last time I seen her, she was smiling, her and her friend, and she had her a fishing pole. She was going fishing. So, <laughs> run that devil out of there. When you're around people, and all they do is bring you down, 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 down. Just like we had a demon amongst us, and now he's, uh, Jesus sent a light to him. Boom! And knocked him down and said, you're expelled. Now, if this demon comes around, saying, asking questions, just resist him, he has to leave. Because Jesus has already put a warning on it. Do not bother God's Holy Ghost people. Now you feel it, you feel more light, you feel happier, you feel better. That's what Jesus does. He runs them devils out of there. Now, think about a school teacher. She's around little kids all the time, ones that teach the first and second, third grade. That old woman will live 80 years and 90 years and be happy because them little kids are just full of life. That's joy. It's a merry heart, gives you strength. See, the joy is your strength. See, when a devil comes in, like this devil come in amongst us, he takes away your joy, your peace, your faith, your love, your gentleness, your kindness, your godliness. He blames gloom and despair and agony and misery and depression. That's a devil. See, that takes away your life. That takes away your joy, your peace. So don't let the devil, when you're around the person, they're always uh, old grumpy and grouchy. You know, get away from them people. You can feel it. You can hear it in their voice. There's a voice of it. You can hear it in their voice. They're trying to tantalize you with their voice. They'll bring you into their old sorry, worthless life. Don't let that happen. You can feel it. You go on home and it feels dark or you're around a person and you feel depressed. Get away from them. That is bad. I'm going to tell you some stories I had through life. People love to be around me because I sing, I dance, I'm happy all the time. And I am now because God gives me peace in my soul. But in this truth, I was... Uh, with some different things. An old country preacher used to get me to come. He'd preach funerals a lot. He's a gentle old man, and I'd go and sing at the funeral or something. And I was talking to this funeral director. I can still see us sitting in that restaurant. And that funeral director, he'd seen the joy in me. You know, he said, I got to get like that. He said, I got to have some peace and joy. He said, being around people, he said, you know, where you're burying people all the time, he said, people's crying and weeping, and they're so sad. He said, i got to get away from this. He said, I've been in this 12 years, and it's killing me. It will kill you. Depression will kill you. I mean, your mind will flump out. You'll get Alzheimer's or bipolar or something. You want to die because depression will kill you. These devils will kill you. Don't be around them. Get them away. If this devil comes around, resist him because Jesus done warned him, stay away from us because we got to have joy and peace and love and power. It's the joy of the Lord is your strength. So let God strengthen you. Don't get around. I was 
I used to preach the chief of police or somebody would come by and see me because his his policeman gets depressed. You know, policemen are depressed because they're around car accidents all the time, domestic violence, all kinds of, of uh, bad things happen, you know. Policemen see that all the time, especially the ones that works out in the big cities. And they come around wanting to know how to overcome this depression and everything. And they get me to even go to the prisons and preach to them people. He said most of them's in jail because they're unhappy. <laughs> they get unhappy and they'll tear up a bar room or something because they're like a demon in them. So always remember, feel it. When you go around, feel it. And always, you go around, if you got the Holy Ghost, you go around singing a little song. Oh, how I love Jesus. If you're by yourself and you're just happy as a jaybird naked tree, then notice when you get around people. That goes down. Oh, help me. They always talk about themselves. Oh, me. I need me something. I need me something. You know, in the word of their testimony, you know, it's just gloom and doom and despair. So let God live in you and have this joy and peace. And remember, a merry heart does good like me. Look at me. I'll be 78 here in just a couple of months. I've been happy all my life. Never need no medical care. Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my joy. I don't need no psychiatrist. Jesus loves me. He gives me dreams and everything. He helps me. And so it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. And I want to leave you with this thought right here. This is the best thought I had for a while. I was, uh, you know, singing the blues one day, you know. I said, Lord, darn, us, us Holy Ghost people, we ain't got nobody. We ain't got a church. We have to baptize ourselves. We ain't got nothing. Everybody hates us, kicks us out. We're alone and everything. And I said, have mercy on us, you know. And I said, Holy Ghost, help me with that. He said, I will. He said, that means you've overcome the world. <laughs> when, you, when you run all the devils off, they don't want you no more. You've overcome the world. If you're alone, if you're kicked out, you know, just like the Quakers, you know, they said it's the light in us. You know, the light in us. They'd hang them and they'd still be telling them, it's God in you. Hallelujah. So it's Christ in you. You want joy. You want strength. You want to live a good life without going down them sticking needles in you to get to get you over some kind of health problem. Jesus will get you over. He'll feed you. He'll close you. He'll love you. He'll give you power. You let the Holy Ghost in you. And if you're alone, you say, Hallelujah, I've overcome the world. The world don't want me. They shun me. They hate me. That's all right. Keep your testimony. And have a joyful heart. Have a wonderful heart. Wake up in the morning singing. Go to bed singing. Have God in you. Don't let nothing take your crown. See, when the devil comes in, you think he wants your money. And that's true. But he also wants your crown. He wants your joy. He wants your peace. He wants to disturb your faith. He wants to do everything and take everything good away from you. Don't let that happen. Resist the devil. Always have a merry heart. Lord Jesus, we thank you for a merry heart. Give all the little Holy Ghost children a merry heart. Jesus, now that we got the devil away from us, help them to resist the devil and stand in the truth and have joy and peace and love. Have a merry heart because that is your strength.